if we're filming. Okay, we're filming. I just got back from the uh, paint store. We were short a can of paint, and uh, I was up there talking with the, this little kid that always helps me, He's a sweet little kid. And he said, I'm so excited to see all your renovations. And he said, I hope you're doing before and after pictures. And I said, of course, of course. And so he said, it would really be cool if you would do a video vlog, <coughs> excuse me, of your space and what you've done. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go home and do that. You know, if people are interested, why not? I love seeing other people's faces. You know, we all like to look into people's lives and into their homes and kind of peek into to what they love and what they don't like. And it just kind of gives you a, a kind of a cool feel of who they are. So when we got the fifth wheel, it was very, very dark and very, very dated. An older couple had owned it. So I began to rip things out. The first thing to go were the heavy drapes and the dark colors. And then it also had uh, the table that sits in the center that's bolted to the floor with two big overstuffed chairs. So that was basically it for seating. And the majority of our stuff is in storage. So we have only been able to pick out the very things that we love the most and bring them with us. So I really wanted to have those things in the fifth wheel. Even if it was a small space, um, I didn't care. I wanted to create um, a space that was ours, a home that was ours. We've been on a very difficult journey um, over the past several years, we were in commercial construction, and back in 2009, things just kind of went bad, and it's just been really difficult to get back on track. But anyway, I thought, I want to bring my stuff in here, and I want to make this a home. When the kids come in, they can lay on the couch, we can have movie night, do whatever we want to do. So what I did was I moved my own furniture in here, and our own things, because I thought, having a table so that the kids sit at it so they don't spill something or get something on my furniture doesn't outweigh the joy of having them hang out and be in here with us and possibly messing something up. So that's what I did. I brought our stuff in. I brought my favorite chair. I brought a small little sofa in and I began to make this home for us. We had been living with my, my mom and no, no issues, just very cramped space, but it wasn't my space. So when I got this and I was able to put into it my personality and things that I loved, it just began to evolve. It had very dark cabinets. We stripped the cabinets and I, I put a real pretty gray on it. And to be honest, it was very freeing to pick and choose only your favorite things to bring along with you because I find so often we have stuff in storage that I don't even remember there. I'll go over there and try to find something and I'll find this other thing and I'll be like, you know what, take this out. We'll give it to someone who needs it or we'll sell it, we'll do whatever, but I don't need it. If I haven't missed it, I don't need it. So it's been quite freeing and, and liberating to live with less. It seems like our evenings are longer, my cleaning time is shorter, everything just seems to have been a little bit better. So I hope you like our home. I hope you like what I've done with it. And I hope that you find yourself in a place that is, is comforting and brings you great peace when you enter. It doesn't bring you chaos or it doesn't bring you uh, guilt. I have friends that their home brings them a lot of guilt because they spend too much money and then have to worry about paying for it. So I hope your space finds you just very happy today and you make it your own. It doesn't take a big place and it doesn't take a fancy place or an expensive place. It just takes a space that you take and you own it and you make your tribe feel loved and feel comforted and feel welcome there. That's all it takes. All right. I hope you like it. Bye.